Alrighty bros, I got a little bit of a shorter video for you guys on how to set up the RGB Fusion for the people that own a Gigabyte motherboard. We ended up getting an update for this program the other day, so I wanted to make a video going over how to use this application and what you're going to need in order to install it. Now keep in mind that I own a Gigabyte motherboard, but if you own something like an MSI or ASUS motherboard and it has RGB lighting on it, then it's going to work pretty similar. It's just going to be different. It's going to look a little bit different. So what you're going to need to do is head on over to the Gigabyte website. I will include the link down in the description for you guys, but you're going to need to search up whatever motherboard that you have. If you have the Aorus Master like me, then go ahead and search that. If you have the Aorus Pro, search that, etc. And then once you do that, it's going to bring up a bunch of search results. So I own the Z390 Aorus Master. So what I am going to click is the utility. And when I end up clicking that, it's going to bring me over to this website right here, which I already have open because I'm stupid. So right here is the RGB Fusion, but you cannot just download this and use it right away. What you're going to need to go for is you're gonna to have to scroll down and end up finding the app center now as you guys can see right here it says app center so what you need to do is if you live in asia click that if you live in china click that if you live in america click that if you live in europe you click that and what it's going to do is it's going to download a zipped file go ahead and extract that program whatever if you have winrar go ahead and use that i have 7-zip just because i like it a little bit more than um than WinRAR, just easier for me to use. So what you're gonna do once you download that and extract it, you're gonna open it up and click setup. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. And then we're gonna go on over, and once you install the application, which is this right here, you're gonna be able to go into your Windows setting, third-party software, and then this is where once you install RGB Fusion, that's going to install. So again, it applies to the exact same thing. Like I said, when you, when you download it, download Asia, China, America, and Europe. Just make sure if you download the, the App Center for America that you download the RGB Fusion for America. So once you do that, you're going to download it. And your download might take a little bit longer than me. Um, again, 7-Zip WinRAR does not matter. Just go ahead and extract it. You're going to open up the folder. And then right here is what you're going to end up installing. So once you do that, like, I mean, common sense, I don't need those programs, it's already installed. So once you install that program, it's going to automatically put it in here and you can just go ahead and pin it to your taskbar if you want to do that. So you're gonna click out, open the application, it'll tell you to please wait. And then how you use the program is very, very simple. I really wish that they had a way to like adjust the colors for everything just so that it's all one color, but you're gonna have to click Whatever it is that you want to change in your motherboard, go ahead and like move your wheel around. If you want it green, you can put it green. If you want it blue, you can put it blue. And that's just what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep it at blue. And then this right here is just digital LED. I have no idea why it's different. And then you have all of these options right here. This is basically the big thing in the middle where your CPU is. But yeah. That's gonna bring us to the end of the video, guys. I know that it's like very, very short, but I don't think anybody wants to watch me make a 10 minute video for extra ad revenue when it's very simple for me to explain. You download two things and then you change the colors. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to support it with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.